Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have an awesome product to show you guys. It's a budget action camera that can shoot videos in real 4K and photos in 16 megapixel resolution. It also has EIS and a 2 inch IPS touch screen at the back. This camera offers some great specs and hardware for the price so I'm very excited to unbox and show it to you all. It's made by this company called Hawkeye and the model is Firefly 8SC. You can see a picture of the camera on the front. It's a high end 4K action camera on a budget. Let's check out the features of this camera. It's got a 2 inch IPS touchscreen, supports wireless remote control, has electronic image stabilization, supports external microphone, has Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and also comes with a 20 meter waterproof case. Now let's check out the specs of this camera. It has an Amberella A12S75 chipset, Sony's IMX117 1x2.3 inch 12 megapixel CMOS sensor. This camera can shoot photos up to 16 megapixel resolution and videos in 4K 30fps. It shoots in H264 codec and has a 1200 mAh detachable battery. So these were the specs of the Hawkeye Firefly 8 SE 4K action camera. Now let's get started with the unboxing. I want to thank Gearbest for sending me this product for review. By the way guys, Gearbest is having a mega sale going on currently on their website. They are offering huge discounts on products, so make sure to visit their website. I will just leave a link to that in the description box below. Alright, let's continue with the unboxing. Now let's slide out the box and check out the product. The action camera comes in this sort of plain white box. Let's open it. So here it is guys, our Hawkeye Firefly 8SC action camera. Comes nicely packed in this tray. Let me take it out of the box. The Hawkeye Firefly 8SC comes in two variants, one with a 170 degree wide angle lens and the other with a 90 degree lens. The model I have is the 170 degree variant. We'll just check it out in a moment. First let me also show you what else do we get in the package. There's one more box over here. I guess we've got all the accessories in it. Let me open it and show you what's inside the box. You get a user manual, so make sure to read it for all the info on the product. Along with that the company is also giving a free external microphone with the camera. That is really awesome guys, you don't need to buy anything separately. You've also got a packet of straps, some cable ties and stickers, few helmet bases, an extra back door for the waterproof case, different variety of action camera mounts, a bike mount, a USB cable for charging and data transfer, a lens cap for the camera and they also gave a lens hood for the action camera. It's a petal shaped lens hood, really awesome. They also have a lens cleaning cloth and some Hawkeye branded stickers. So these are all the accessories in the box, we've got almost everything needed for an action camera. Now finally let's check out the Hawkeye Firefly camera. So the action camera comes in this waterproof case, it's a 20 meter waterproof case and the build quality looks very nice, it's made of high quality plastic. The design of the case is pretty similar to the other action cameras. Let me open it and take the camera out, just like that. And here is our 4K action camera. It comes in black color. Let me just close the case, keep it aside and then we'll check out the camera. So here is the camera guys, Hawkeye's newest Firefly 8SC. The build quality of the camera looks very nice. You got the Firefly 8SC logo over here. It's got a smooth matte finishing on the front. The body is made of high quality plastic. And this is its 170 degree wide angle lens. Over here you've got a power slash menu button, a small selfie mirror above that and an LED status indicator. Now move into the top, you've got lots of holes here. I guess this is where the speaker is. There's also a lanyard hole beside that and a recording button on the right. On the left side you've got a microphone, a mini USB port for charging the camera and a HDMI out below that. This is how the bottom looks like. You've got a quarter inch thread so you can even fix it on tripods. And on the right side you've got two menu navigating buttons. And this is how the back of the camera looks like. You've got the Firefly branding and this is its 2 inch IPS touchscreen. On the right there's a tiny gallery button and a micro SD card slot above that. Now let me show you the battery that you get in the camera. The battery compartment is over here. You can open it up easily like this. Let me remove the battery and show you. So this is the camera's battery. You get a 1200 mAh lithium ion battery with it. Now let me power on the camera, show its menu and all of its features. But before that guys, let me fix the lens hood and show you. So I've fixed the lens hood to the camera. It's a push to fix type lens hood and this is how it looks like. Now let's power on the camera and check it out. So this is the home screen of the camera. The display on it looks very nice. It's a 2 inch 320 x 240 IPS touch screen. The display is sharp, bright and the viewing angles are also very nice. At the top you've got the status panel where it shows you the current mode, recording time, the battery level. At the bottom you've got the gallery, video resolution and the settings. By swiping left to right or right to left you can quickly switch between photo and the video modes. This is the gallery where you can check your recently recorded clips. 
Now let's check out the settings on this camera. Let's start with the video resolutions. It can shoot videos in 4K 30fps, 4K 25fps, 2.7K 30, 2.7K Super View, 2.5K 60fps, 2.5K 30fps, 1440p at 60 and 30, 1080p at 120, 60 and 30, 1080p Super View also, 960p 120, 60 and 30, and even 720p at Super Slow Motion 240fps. The Firefly 8SC has a huge list of video resolutions. There is no other action camera in this price point that offers this many modes. In the video quality, you have Super Fine, Fine and Normal. You can also adjust the field of view to either wide, medium or narrow. It has auto low light, gyro sensor which is nothing but EIS, motion detect, dual files, video stamp, logo watermark, time lapse, microphone volume and some camera settings like sharpness, white balance and exposure value. Now let me show you the general settings. These include quick capture, delay off, you can also change between NTSC and PAL mode, light frequency, distortion correction. You can adjust the LCD brightness, auto shutdown and some other general settings which include language, date and time, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings. So that was our look at the camera's interface and all of its features. Now what I'll do is I'll go out, shoot some sample videos and photos and see how this camera performs. These are a few video clips shot in 4K at 30fps. The Hawkeye Firefly 8SC has Sony's IMX117 sensor. It's a 1x2.3 inch 12 megapixel CMOS sensor and has an Amberella A12S75 chipset. The 4K video quality is very nice for the price, the sharpness is nice, the colors look vibrant and the white balance is also perfect. The sensor has a very good dynamic range, as you can see there's good detail in both the highlights and the shadow areas. This camera has a 170 degree wide angle lens and the field of view is set to medium in this clip. The video quality in this mode looks really nice right? The detail, the colors, everything is pretty good. The bitrate of the video files when shooting in 4K 30fps was around 60 Mbps. And also this camera supports both electronic image stabilization and also distortion correction. But they are not available in 4K resolution. Just have a look at these 4K samples. As you can see there is no image stabilization or gyro in 4K and this is how the footage will look like when you are walking around while shooting. I've also recorded some footage while riding my bike, just check out this video clip. So till now we've seen all the 4K video clips, now let's switch to 2.5K resolution. This particular clip was shot in 2.5K at 60fps, just check out the sample. The video quality was nice even in 2.5K at 60, the bitrate in this mode was around 55Mbps, even in this mode the gyro was not supported, but the benefit of shooting in this mode is, you can also get slow motion effect like this. Pretty cool right? Now let's switch over to 1080p 60fps. The biggest benefit of shooting in 1080p is, 1080p supports both distortion correction and also gyro. In this particular clip, gyro was disabled and this is how the footage looks like. In the next clip, I'll turn the gyro on and show you how much difference you'll get in the video. The video quality in this mode was good, but not as good as in 4K. And the bitrate in this mode was around 35mbps. Alright guys, I've turned the gyro image stabilization on and this is how the video looks like. Looks pretty smooth compared to the previous clip right? The gyro image stabilization was definitely doing a good job. Hey guys, hope you are enjoying the video. Now let's do a quick microphone test on this action camera. So in this clip what we'll do is we'll test the internal mic on the camera and in the next clip I'll connect that external microphone and test how the audio sounds on that. So let's start the audio test. Hello check 1 2 3 microphone test on the Firefly 8SC. The weather looks quite nice today guys and this is how the audio sounds on the internal mic of this camera. Now let me just connect that external mic and see how the audio sounds like. 
all right guys i'm back i've connected the external mic to the camera as you can see the mic is right in my hand okay let's see how the audio sounds on it hello check one two three microphone test on the firefly 8sc action camera this video is being recorded in 4k at 30 frames per second so do let me know what do you think about the microphone quality in the comment section down below the firefly 8sc can also shoot slow motion videos here are a few samples just check them out Now coming to the pictures, this action camera can shoot photos at a max resolution of 16 megapixels and here are a few samples shot on it. The photo quality was actually very nice for an action camera, the sharpness was nice, the colors were punchy and the dynamic range was also very good. Overall I'm pretty impressed by both the photos and videos shot during daytime. Now let's check out the low light performance. These are a few video samples shot during night time. The low light performance was not the best I've seen. You can barely see anything in the video. But again, it's better than most of the cheap action cameras you find in the market. This camera also has a special auto low light mode. Let's turn it on and see if it makes a difference. The auto low light mode definitely improves the visibility and makes the footage much usable than the previous one. But as you can see, the frame rate gets reduced in this mode. Now let's talk about the battery life. It has a 1200mAh lithium ion battery and on an average I was getting around 70 to 80 minutes of continuous runtime while shooting in 4K and charging it from 0 to 100 took about 2 hours. So that was my review on the Hawkeye's Firefly 8SE 4K action camera. It's an awesome action camera for the price, the build quality is nice, the features are good, it has a beautiful 2 inch touch screen, you even get a free external microphone in the box and the video quality is also amazing especially during daytime. The only thing is that the low light performance is not that great, but again it's the same with all other action cameras in this price point. The Firefly 8SE costs about 8500 rupees and I can definitely say it's the best 4K action camera you can get for the price. It's available on Gearbest, I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today, thanks for watching my video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.